being Uyghurs nowadays mean not being able to contact to at least one person in your family. This is what it means to almost all Uyghur families around the world. Everyone at least have one to ten family members are locked up in concentration camp or disappeared. Ilham Toti is one of those jailed Uyghurs. He was a prominent voice in the Muslim community until his arrest in 2013. He was detained when leaving for the U.S. with his then 18-year-old daughter, Juha. Since 2017, I have not heard about my father. Mm, I don't know if he's safe. I don't know if he's still in the same prison, if he's even alive. The Chinese government accuses Toti of being a separatist and an extremist, publicly calling him a terrorist. In 2014, he was sentenced to life in prison by a Chinese court. My father is nothing close to an extremist. My father is nothing, nothing close to someone who's advocating for violence. The only weapon my father ever, ever used is his pen and his words. Teng Biao is a human rights activist and a friend of Toti. He is influential among uh, Uyghurs and um, he's the, one of the most um, important people bridging uh, Han Chinese people and Uyghur people. He is telling the world um, the, the Uyghurs ha have human rights. The Uyghurs are not calling for uh, terrorism or separatism. Tang has known Toti since 2009, a year marked by bloody ethnic conflict in the Uyghur region of Xinjiang in northwestern China, when the Muslim minority revolted against police brutality. The protests were violently put down. Currently, there are at least two million Uyghurs and uh, Kazakhs and other Muslims detained in uh, concentration camps. They were brainwashed and uh, tortured and uh, the, the, the children and, and, and family were separated. Uh, some women have been raped. What's happening in Xinjiang, uh, East Turkestan, is the, uh, the biggest human, humanitarian disaster in 21st century. According to international rights organizations, the Chinese government has been silently building internment camps across the region and unlawfully jailing Uyghurs, officially, to protect the country against separatism and terrorism. Beijing initially denied the existence of internment camps, but now describes them as vocational training schools to fight terrorism. Basic rights of the Uyghur include the political, cultural, economic, religious, all right has been continued violated by this Chinese Communist Party. East Turkestan and the uh, so-called Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region is like open air prisons. And the Chinese government today trying to eradicate it, Uyghur identity uh, completely. The Europe, the EU should have a clear message to Chinese government. This kind of concentration camps, the torture, the disappearance, the extrajudicial uh, killings are not accepted. In September, the European Parliament awarded Ilham Toti with the 2019 Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought. I am Toti. The first step is to tell the truth, to tell the world uh, what's happening in Xinjiang, tell the world who is Ilham Tarki and what he has been doing. So to give him a award is a good thing. Across the world, people are rising up to condemn China's actions against the Uyghur community. I wish my father can be released. I wish he can be safe. I wish all the other families, just like me and my family, they can be reunited one day their family members can be safe and healthy and alive. And I wish people just can live in peace without hurting each other.